For historical and cultural reasons, the Rome's population raised specific questions in what concerns their integration, wherever they are in Europe. There are still some part of the populations that are nomad, some are beggars, and definitely those situations need to be addressed and seen in the light of the legislation, European legislation, that is uh, applied. And I believe that each member state should have their own internal legislation in line with the basic principles of the European legislation. To live and to work uh, in a different country from the country of origin requires to respect the legislation of that country. And, of course, uh, those who use the freedom of movement need to prove that they have the necessary wealth means to live and survive in the country where they want to settle. And of course, it's up to the authorities of the member states to guarantee that such a verification is done in a fair and thorough way. The freedom of movement of people is a fundamental freedom of the European project. It is enshrined in the treaties since the beginning, since 1957. Each European citizen has the right to decide, to reside, to live or to work in a different state from its own state of origin, provides it respects a number of conditions. And those conditions require that the person demonstrates that it will not become a burden for the social security system of the state where that person settles. And I believe that the existing European legislation guarantees a fair process in assessing the capacity of each European citizen to live and work in a different member state from the one of origin without discrimination in a, a thoroughly way. Most of the new member states of the European Union, after the enlargement of 2004, had to face some periods of uh, derogation of the freedom of movement uh, principle for uh, some years. The case of Romania and Bulgaria is no exception, and such a derogation comes to an end uh, on the 1st of January 2014. It's difficult to anticipate what will be the effective consequences of the end of the derogation. But I believe that there will be no massive deployment of people towards uh, the member states of the European Union from uh, Romania and uh, Bulgaria. Nevertheless, it is of course necessary to monitor closely the evolution of the situation, those uh, flows of people, and of course to guarantee that they do not affect the stability of the labour market of the countries where they want to settle. And the European legislation allows the member states to use specific instruments to guarantee that stability. To a certain extent, uh, Bulgaria and Romania are already part of the Schengen system because they participate in the dynamics concerning the fight against um, uh, crime, uh, transnational crime. But uh, having said that, of course, the aim of both Bulgaria and Romania is to abolish uh, the controls in the internal borders between Romania and the other member states and between Bulgaria and the other member states. Uh, the technical assessment of the capacity of uh, border control, especially of the external border control that Romania and Bulgaria are in charge of, are positive. But there are still some political questions remaining concerning the fight against the transnational crime, crime that sometimes originates in those countries, and also the uh, respect of the rule of law in Romania and Bulgaria. And I sincerely hope that those difficulties will be overcome and at the appropriate moment uh, Bulgaria and Romania will be fully integrated in the Schengen system. Mm -hmm.